Hey guys, just wanted to show you guys some palms I have planted in pots that um, I want to keep in pots for now anyways. Just so I can put them out on the patio and enjoy them without having to worry about finding a space to plant them. And I'll do just fine in pots until um, they get too big obviously for them. So let's start with this one here. This is a uh, Brahe Armada and it's in a 15 gallon pot. It's doing quite well, loves the sun. This in front here, I did a video on it recently. This is a hybrid palm, a Jubea slash Butia or Jubudia, some people call it. Uh, there's a little windmill palm right there. Gave Americana, not a palm, but Cool plant nonetheless. Um, cycads do quite well in pots as well. This is the sago palm or a cycas revoluta. Another agave. There's the uh, camerops humulus. They do really well in pots. So if you want to pick a palm that's fairly hardy that uh, doesn't mind growing, being grown in pots. Um, Camrops, humulus are a great choice. Got a uh, little rostrata, yucca rostrata here. This palm here is the, a hybrid between a Trachycarpus fortunae and a Trachycarpus um, wagnerianus. So it'd be interesting what that comes out as when it grows up and this is a butia orderata sometimes known as a butia capitata again they do quite well in pots when they're small and i kind of like these terracotta pots that i got recently from uh, canadian tire they look quite nice with the palms um two more palms to show you that don't look so great right now it's because i had them outside in the winter on my patio so they took a bit of a beating this is a washingtonia robusta as you can see it's only got one one frond remaining and another frond coming out now so hopefully it'll recover in the summer um it's in a pot as well and obviously long term these need to be planted because they're gonna grow a, a pot but um, for now it's it's in that pot and one more palm to show you guys is a um, Livingstona chinensis or the Chinese fan palm I'll just show you guys it's in a more shady area because they like shade Part sun, part shade. So this guy's been out all winter as well. We had um, we had down a minus five, which I brought it into my greenhouse because it's in a pot. Didn't want the pot to freeze. So that's one thing you got to be aware of if you keep them outside all all year and you're in a uh, zone where you get freezing temperatures. Is got to be aware that the pots can freeze. The roots can become damaged. So you have to think about the roots as well as the plant. Anyways, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.